So today we're talking jeans and more specifically Evelyn denim. You'll probably know if you've watched a lot of my videos just how frequently I reach for a pair of Evelyn's jeans. So in partnership with them today I thought I would do a full review and denim guide of seven of their styles that I have here. So I'm going to do a try on. I'm going to compare how some of the different styles look side by side. I'm going to talk about the fit. I'm also going to give you some outfit inspiration and I have a couple of different inseams too that I can show so I really hope that this will be very informative for those of you who are thinking about buying a pair of these jeans. And I want to start with my favorite pair of jeans from the brand, which is the Cheeky style. I'm currently wearing my 90s Cheeky right now, but I feel like we need to go in with the original Cheeky first, which I added to my wardrobe maybe three or four years ago. I can't quite recall. Uh, so I have these here in the bone. And the original Cheeky style, I would say one, the whole purpose behind these is to make your butt look great, and they do. But uh, for me, I feel like these are a great option if you are someone who really loves a skinny jean, but wants to slightly ease into something that has more of a straight leg silhouette. Because these are perfect for that, and I'm so sorry if they're looking a little bit blown out on camera. I have them in the bone, which is an off-white color, and you kind of see I'm actually wearing the 90s Cheeky in the bone too. Um, so I will talk about the differences as well between the original Cheeky and the 90s Cheeky. So in terms of sizing and fit, I would say that with the original Cheeky, you want to go true to size. I'm going to say now that these ones are too tight for me. I'm a true size 26 in jeans. This is across the board, uh, unless there are sizing variations. And yeah, I, I feel like these are just a little bit too snug across the hips. You'll see when I have them on, there is just a little bit of pulling uh, and whiskering across the thighs, which is not really a look that I want. So if I was to re-add these to my wardrobe, repurchase them, I would get them in a 26. And one of the things I really like about Everlane jeans is that they offer different leg lengths. So I have a shorter inseam. I'm 172 centimeters tall, but I have a long torso and then I have slightly shorter legs for my height. My inseam is approximately 68 to 69 centimeters to the top of my ankle bone. So quite often I like to go for a cropped jean because it helps to really balance out my silhouette a little bit more. So I have these in the ankle or the cropped length. And as I mentioned, I have them in the 25. Uh, they do have a less stain, so they're stretchy. Overall, I really like the style. I love the tapered slim fit through the leg. I think it is really, really nice uh, and very, very easy to style up. And they have so many different color options as well, not just the ivory bone hue. Um, now, when it comes to the 90s Cheeky, there's a few key differences in terms of the style. So the first thing I want to highlight is the uh, closure. On the original, you have a button and zip closure, which is concealed. On the 90s Cheeky, you have a button fly, which is fully concealed. So you can kind of see if I pull that apart. Um, you've got the button closure there. The other key difference between these and the original Cheeky is the fabric composition. It's more of a rigid denim. These feel very robust. They also feel slightly thicker, in my opinion. Uh, and finally, it's the fit. These are a lot more vintage in terms of the silhouette. They're a lot more roomy through the thigh and also around the waist and uh, all the way just down to the ankle. I find not in a massive way, but just ever so slightly. So I think if you are just kind of transitioning from a skinny jean, start with the original Cheeky and then you can kind of progress from there. But um, again, they come in loads of different colors. I have the 90s Cheeky in four different colors. I've got the Bone, Wash Black, Atlantic Blue, and then I have uh, a lighter blue as well, which are really nice for summer. Um, now, I find that this particular style, the 90s Cheeky, actually does fit a little bit large. So it depends on whether you want to have a lot more room around the waist I like mine to have a reasonably fitted waistband, so I size down to the 25. Again, I got the cropped length, which I find is perfect for me, even if I do just want to do a slight little roll at the hem. But yeah, a brilliant jean and one of my absolute favorites. I really cannot recommend the Cheeky enough. As mentioned, I will do a side-by-side -side of how the two different styles fit, which I hope will be helpful. All right, let's move on to the skinny jean, a classic. Don't care what Gen Z say, I am still going to continue wearing my skinny jeans. I've been wearing them for two decades plus and... Uh, it's something that I know really well, and so I'm going to continue to wear them. Um, so the Authentic Stretch Skinny Jean, I would say, is kind of the core skinny jean that Everlane offers, and they are incredibly comfortable. 
They have a really nice amount of stretch to them. They're a medium weight, but they feel a lot softer uh, in terms of just having them in your hand. They're very malleable um, and you can do lunges in them. I actually shared some stories a while ago where I was doing lunges in mine. They really are just great like that. They're very, very easy to move in. But the one thing that I've really noticed, despite how much I've worn these jeans, is the fact that the knees, they haven't bagged out at all. They look perfect and they always come out of the wash looking great. And that's been my experience with every single wash color style that I own from the brand. Um, so the Authentic Stretch Skinny comes in a few different options. You can get a mid-rise and you can get a high-rise. I like the high rise to balance out my proportions um, and I've got them here in the wash black with the exposed button fly but you can get the concealed button zip fly closure as well. Uh, these I would say fit very true to size. I got them in the 26 and again I have them in the ankle length. I also have them in the regular length which I'm going to show you a side by side so you can see how much the inseam differs. They do have measurements available on their sizing chart if you're unsure which size to get for you, which might be more convenient to check if you're unsure. But overall, I mean, they're so comfortable, so nice and stretchy, and uh, a really, really good option if you're out for a skinny jean, which is a nice weight, and that also isn't going to break the bank. Um, the black ones, again, I have those in the high-rise style, and they're just a really, really nice rise I find you know they come up to my belly button which is lovely perfect and then they do have that slightly longer length through the leg because these ones are the regular length. Um, the one thing I want to mention about the black denim is that it feels slightly different to the other washes so it's slightly crispier is probably the only way I could describe it but it still is very very stretchy and very very comfortable to wear. It's like wearing leggings when you have these on and the other thing is that it does pick up fluff. We have a ragdoll cat, so I have to have a lint roller on hand anyway, but usually when I go to wear these, I will give them a once over with a lint brush just to tidy them up a little bit so they look nice and fresh. Then we move on to the way high style, and this is a really, really high rise. It comes up above my belly button, and this particular line was introduced towards the start of the year, I believe, for memory serves me. Um, I could have <laughs> memory like a goldfish, I swear. <laughs> so... Because we're talking about skinny jeans, let's just start with the way high skinny jean. Now, these ones are made with organic cotton, and I believe that the way high skinny also has tencel in it. It's got viscose and recycled polyester in there, so the weight of this denim is very different to the other jeans that Evelyn offers. It's a little bit lighter, and it is very, very stretchy. Again, I would say that these fit true to size, so I have them in a size 26. Uh, at the time that I got them, they didn't offer different leg lengths. Uh, it says here they're 26 regular. But yeah, these are an ultra high rise and really, really skinny cut. Um, I will show you how they look on next to the authentic stretch as well as a comparison so you can see. Uh, now, these ones have a button and zip closure, and one of the main differences between these skinny jeans and the authentic stretch skinny is that they don't have regular pockets on the front. So usually most jeans have five pockets, they've got two on the back, and then they have two on the front, and then usually have a smaller pocket um, on the right hand side uh, tucked in within another pocket. Uh, these ones actually just have one very small slit pocket here on the front. Which is really funny because every time I wear these I always forget and I go to try and put my hands in my pockets and I can't. And they do have these standard pockets on the back. When I wear these I feel like I'm wearing leggings because of how stretchy they are and how comfortable they are. Um, especially with that super duper high rise. Um, again a really really nice jean and you kind of can't go wrong. Um, if you love a high rise I think you'll really really like these ones. Uh, then we have the way high straight and so the denim on this is again that thicker denim is very similar to the denim on the 90s cheeky I would say uh, and again it's made from organic cotton and it does have a small, a small amount of elastane in it. Now I have a bit of a rule when it comes to Evelyn's sort of baggier or straighter leg jeans that I will size down one. And this is because, as I mentioned earlier, I do like my jeans to be reasonably fitted around the waist. And because these are a real true straight leg jean, uh, I don't really find that that compromises how they fit 
through the leg at all. And one thing I have noticed with the different washes before I get into fit and everything is that depending on the wash that you get, the inseam length is going to be different. I don't think this is a major issue if you get one of the pairs which already has a distressed hemline because you can easily cut those, just stitch up the uh, seams here on the side so that they don't fray uh, and you're all set. Okay, so in terms of sizing, the way hygiene, I've got them in the Distress Blue and in the Coal. I have both in the size 25 and I feel like that's a very good fit for me. Um, they're a really lovely straight leg jean. The Distress Blue is more of a cropped fit through the leg. One that I would recommend for more average, high or petite girls just because if you are on the taller end of the spectrum, you may find that the Distress Blue fits a little bit too cropped on you. I will show you a side by side as mentioned so you can see the difference in length between the Distress Blue and the Coal. Um, I'm just going to pull the Coal ones out. I really love these. They, they have a slightly different distressed him to the um, the blue ones. Uh, similarly to the authentic stretch skinny in the black, um, I do find that these also pick up fluff so I will usually run a lint roller over them when I go to wear them. Again in the coal a really great fit. These are just a much longer length through the leg so if you are tall then I'd say these are brilliant for you and are going to be a really nice leg length for you. Uh, but I will have that side by side so you can see the comparison. Another really good jean for tall girls would be the way high wide leg jean and these are the, the newest pair that I have from the brand. I did kind of uh, sneak them into a video a couple of months back actually. I'll link it up in the cards here. These feel like a summer jean. They feel a little bit like they are from the 60s or 70s, like very vintage style jean and I quite love that. They're that super, super duper high rise. Uh, it feels very kind of California girl, you know, wear it with a, um, like one of those baseball ringer tees um, and then some high heels, you know, some platform high heels. I could totally imagine the vibe. Um, but yeah, I again, they have that really nice weighty denim and I especially love the wash of these. Uh, it does feel very, very vintage from that perspective. Um, again, using that same rule, I sized down and got them in a 25. And I think if you like the way that they fit on me, then I would recommend sizing down one. Um, these ones don't come in a different leg length, so you just have the one. If you're petite, these may be very, very long on you, so you'd have to get them tailored. Uh, I don't know how that would affect the way that they sort of fit through the leg, because I know that can be a bit of an issue with tailoring, so something to consider. Uh, these ones are 98% organic cotton, 2% elastane, just like the Way High Straight. Uh, really, really comfortable again, and they do have that nice little bit of give. Um, and I really like the pocket placement as well on the bum of these. I think it's very, very flattering. The final pair of jeans we have, I actually think these ones are the summer jeans, but they say they're called the High Rise Straight Jeans. Pretty sure these are the summer jeans, um, it's a bit confusing, but I did want to end the video with these. Uh, I have these ones in the 25 ankle length. Again, I pull from that rule where if it's a more relaxed jean, then I would size down. Uh, and they're a really nice fit on me. Again, they are 98% cotton, 2% elastane, so have a really good amount of stretch to them. And they fit really nicely across the hips and the bum area on me in the 25. Uh, I did get the crop length, which I like. And these are, I would say, a bit more of a straight leg option. If you like the 90s cheeky, but you want something that is slightly wider through the leg, then this would be the one to go for. They're really, really soft and a lovely mid-weight denim. I am going to do a side-by-side -side with the 90s cheeky these jeans which I believe are the summer jeans and then the way high straight so you can just get a real good visual on how all three jeans fit um, because I think that'll be really helpful uh, especially if you are tossing up between the styles so that is the final pair that I wanted to mention in this video I have also reviewed over on my blog, I did a full denim guide uh, which will really mirror this one. Um, I did that a few months ago and I included the uh, denim shorts there which are brilliant. They're sort of an A-line style um, so I have got lots of photos there and a whole bunch of information on size and fit as well. So yeah, hopefully that will be a helpful additional resource if you want to do a bit more reading after this video. But yeah, that is it. Those are 
all of the different pairs of jeans that I have from Emily. I hope that you found this really helpful, um, informative, insightful if you were thinking about purchasing a pair of jeans from the brand or even just hoping to get a little bit of outfit inspiration um, as we are now in the transitional season. I know denim is going to be a huge part of my my uniform until it is proper legs out weather here in Sydney. Thank you to Evelyn for partnering with me on this video and I would love to know which pair of jeans you like the most or if you have a favourite style from the brand please tell me in the comment section below and also leave any additional questions that you may have and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible but thank you so much for watching for spending some of your day with me and I will see you next week with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye!